Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. Now Paul says, I rejoice, he says, at the coming of Stephanus, because this same fellow is going to went to see Paul over there in Ephesus. And it says, and he also went with Fortunatus and, and Achaicus. And he says, and also Timotheus, Timothy, who we read about last week, that, that one Paul called his son in, in the faith. I love that. You know, I was looking up his name. Timotheus is actually his name. Theos in Greek. Timothy was the kid that was, his dad was Greek. His mom was a Jewish, Jewish gal. And they gave him a Greek name. Tim in, in Greek is, um, it, it's kind of a cool name because his name is, Tim is to give honor. And Theos, how many know a little bit of Greek? Theos is what? God. Yeah, so his name literally means to give honor to God. Well, that's a good name if you baby shopping for names for boys. Timotheus is, Tim, or Timothy we say in English, but it's to give honor to God. And, you know, he's got, he's got Stephanus, which is crowned in Greek. And then he goes with um, For Fortunatus. His, um, in Lat it's a Latin name. He could, one of the guys has got a Latin name. It translates to well-freighted. But um, the, it, you have to think, like, in terms of, like, a shipping. Well-freighted. In other words, much fortune. Yeah. Like, if you're well-freighted, a lot, lot of freight in the ship, a lot of gold and precious things in the ship uh, it's it's like saying much fortune so got they got pretty good traveling names here Caicus got the worst one it just means from a ki you know that region but anyway the four of these guys went to paul and paul says i'm so thankful for these guys coming they have refreshed my spirit and yours see they had already been in corinth and now they came from corinth over to ephesus to visit paul and he's saying thanks for sending those guys you know, thank you, because they refreshed my spirit, Paul said. And, and he says, make sure you acknowledge such men. When you have men like this that, that serve the Lord, make sure you give them an acknowledgement that they're, that they're doing that. Now he says, the church of Asia greets you. Aquila and Priscilla greet you heartily in the Lord. Remember, they were the ones that got that, that fellow Apollos and, and pulled him aside and talked to him more about about the Lord and with all these guys lives were intertwined and the house he says uh, the church that is in the house of Aquila and Priscilla also sent their greetings remember they didn't have buildings the, the early church went from home to home meeting in house to house now personally you know in some countries today where the church is persecuted they still do the same thing they they, they can not just meet out in the open like we do we're so I mean how fortunate are we to get to do this but but I have to tell you honestly, once or twice a year we get rained out and we have our church at our house. And, it, and you know what? It, actually, I like it. You get to hang out in the home. You get to, you know, it's a little bit, how do you say, more relaxed. You know, you can hang around after and people sit and, and just fellowship. And it just, there's something different about, have any of you been to a home church where just a little Bible study held in a house and, and did it, did it encourage you, that setting, you know, just that, that there's something really sweet about it. It's different than in a congregation in a formal large setting. It just has that more intimacy. Well, he said Priscilla and Aquila and their whole church that, that met in their house was, were sending their, their greetings to the church at Corinth. Now, he said, all the brethren greet you. And then he says this, greet one another with a holy kiss. This is for the Hawaiians that uh, come up and greet each other, you know. <laughs> I laugh. It's only, they're in Corinth. There's a lot of Italians over there. And I know my upbringing, God sent me to Hawaii. The first thing I got, got here, I got hugged and kissed. You know, on both cheeks, hugged, kissed. And I thought, oh, I'm home. This is like, this is how we greet each other. But that's not how everybody greeted one another. John Higgins, who grew up in, in New York, in an Irish upbringing, he, he always sticks his hand out like this and greets people like this. And it kind of like, like there's like this invisible barrier like of space, you know, like you're in my space bubble. If you go any closer than 
Uh, they don't shake hands like like we do in Hawaii where they shake your hand and pull in and you know the Polynesian greeting where you get hugged and and and, and men actually uh oh, there goes the picture. And and they and they pull each other in and they and they greet each other. I remember when John Higgins came to visit the first time one of the one of the local guys grabbed him. He was like <laughs> He didn't know what to do. He was like this is not, you know, but 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 this is this is this this is the greeting in their region, that now a holy kiss is not. Some people go, oh, I read in the Bible you get to greet each other with a kiss and they go running up to the gal they like and plant one on her. I go, that's not what it said. A holy kiss is, I'm gonna put it in vernacular for the young men. It's like how you kiss your grandmother when you say hello to her, okay, on the cheek, you know. Or even if you kissed her on the lips, it would not be one of those romantic kisses. It would be just a peck like, hi, Nona, you know, that's allowed. But there's a difference. Holy means separated. It's, a, it's, a, it's, not, a, it's not a sexual thing. It's just a, a, it's a greeting of love. Now, there is something to that, that when you greet someone, even with a kiss, that is a kiss of love, not in a sexual sense, but just that, that intimate greeting. That is, that is, that's Paul saying, do everything you do, do it in love. That truly the love of God. Okay, this is God's love. And you know, some people, I remember one time I greeted one of the folks that came early and the Lord told me, go up and hug them and kiss them. And I did and, you know, I thought, that person doesn't look very huggable or kissable, Lord. <laughs> you know, in my mind, it's running the, 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 you know how the loop is always going. And I'm going, I don't know. And the Lord goes, do it. Okay, and they did, and, and the person just started weeping. And they hadn't, nobody had, had greeted them, touched them, you know, they were on the streets, dirty, and the Lord said, you see how just that one act of love is, you know, you might not think it's any big deal, but to the person who hasn't been touched with love in a while, it's a big deal. It's, it's you, you are... Like my daughter says, you're like Jesus with skin on. You know, you're, you are a, a vessel of the Lord that is bringing Jesus to that person with a personal, a real touch, like real flesh that they need. Because they might not have anybody that, you know, they might not be like you married and get that physical touch of love all the time. They, they for some, they're so, you know, ostracized by society, they don't get anyone that talks to them, touches them. In fact, I saw a thing on Facebook. There's a guy back east, all he does is go to the homeless and sits down in front of them and says, could I sit and talk with you? W w would you like someone to talk with? And, and he's so well received. I mean, they're making his, his the, the thing on the Facebook was like, it's going viral. And all this guy does is just go and sit by the person and just give him a moment of his, he goes, you know, it's not that difficult. You just have to give us some of your time. You know, sometimes it's just all, all I do is sit and say, so so tell me your story. Tell me, you know, what's happening with you. And the person is just blown away that he would take the time and, and they feel loved because he just took a moment to just sit there with them. Just to, you know, that's a touch. That's the kind of what I'm talking about, holy greetings. That, that Paul is, is mentioning here. You greet the person. You care about the person. You, you take interest in them. You, you give them a kiss in, in the love of the Lord. And he says, now Paul says, this greeting I'm writing to you is with my own hand. At the end of the letter, you know, Paul would always dictate his letters because of his eyesight. At the end of the letter, he would sign it himself. And um, it was known that his, since his eyesight wasn't so good, usually the handwriting got a lot bigger at the end, you know, he, this greeting is my own, <laughs> Cause, and he got big in Paul's writing according to the, to the scholars, and it says, and now if anyone does not love the Lord, now this one I think Paul wrote himself, if anyone does not love the Lord, what does it say? He is accursed. Enigma, it's, a, it, it's a not good. He's, a, he's an accursed person. If they don't love God, it's a, it's a bad state to be in. And then he said, Maranatha, which means the Lord 
is kind of a strange thing. It may be uh, someone who's good at the Greek. This one is one of those weird things. It means the Lord has come, the Lord is come, the Lord will come. They have a s some kind of s state of their language that is like past, present, future all at once. You know, the Lord did come, the Lord is come, the Lord will come. That's what the word Maranatha means, by the way, in their, in their language. I know we don't have where we can put all three tenses into one word, but they do. It's a pretty cool word. So he just declares, end of the, I'm finishing the letter here. Anyone who doesn't love God, you're accursed. Maranatha, the Lord's come, the Lord is come, the Lord will come. And then he ends with these words, my love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, guys, let's close with a word of prayer. Father, thanks for this time we get to be together. Be with us now as we go from here. Let these words sink into our hearts, our minds, Lord. Let them stimulate our spirit that we might walk alertly before you. We could be used as light in our community as you see fit, Lord. We ask that in Jesus, your precious son's name, and all God's people that agree with me said, Amen. Amen. Would you go in the joy of the Lord? Mahalo for joining us. If you'd like more information about us, go to our website, AmazingGraceKona.com, and click the link to follow us on Facebook. That's AmazingGraceKona.com. Mahalo, and God bless.